Welcome back everybody, Crazy Pop here. And finally, finally, we are back on the Blackstone. So now we're gonna do something very simple, just some burgers and fries on the Blackstone, nothing fancy, but hey, they're gonna be good. Uh, we've been on the go a lot here lately. You know, as you've seen the videos, uh, theme parks just everywhere. So finally, we're back home, do a little video here on the Blackstone, some supper tonight. But before we get started, I just wanna give a shout out to Just Piddling Barbecue for this awesome sign that he sent over to me. Man, you need to check out his channel. If you've never checked out Just Piddling Barbecue, you've got to check that channel out. I will leave the link below down in the description. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to him. Great channel, great recipes, great, great people. Check them out. So, let's go ahead and get started. Well, as you can see, we got the Blackstone hot now, so we're just gonna turn these down a little bit. I'm gonna turn this side over here down to about a medium heat. Put a little oil out here. Handy dandy back stone spatula. And we're gonna spread that out a little bit. We're gonna get those some fries on here. Now these are just a generic frozen french fries from the grocery store. Nothing fancy. So nothing fancy about the night supper. We're just gonna go do some little burgers and fries. Have a nice supper, that's all. And yeah, maybe a few more. Now I am putting these on here frozen. Now I've actually never done french fries on here. I've seen different methods. I've seen some people where they, uh, they uh, cover it up, you know, let them steam a little bit and kind of cook them. And I've seen other methods, they just put them straight on here. So we're gonna try this, see how that works. We're gonna get these started before we start the burgers. Kinda of just spray a little oil on them. Help crisp them up. And let them cook for just a little while. I think, I don't know, every now and then we'll just give them a little stir. Kinda of get them going. And while those are getting done, we are going to take, put a couple burgers on here. Now, I'm not gonna make smash burgers out of these. A little salt and pepper on here. You know, I think I might just salt these fries up a little bit while they're cooking. Nah, like I said earlier, I've never done french fries. We've done hash browns on here before, and but I've never done french fries. We've done burgers on here. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't had a burger on a Blackstone griddle, oh man, that is, they are outstanding. They are really good. Let's give these uh, fries a little stir, see how they're looking. They're, going, they're getting there slowly. Slowly, they're getting there. Spread them back out now. Getting a little brown to them. Trying to get every one on the griddle. Right, them burgers are just slowly cooking. Give these burgers a quick flip. They cook a little bit on each side. Kind of mash them down just a little bit. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to these fries just a little bit and give them a stir. Help crisp them up. Oh yeah, they're starting to get a little brown to them now. A little color. Just gotta let them sit there and cook. These might turn out better than I think they're going to. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments below different ways you do it. 
uh, maybe some ideas that you have, whatever. Check these burgers out. Oh yeah. Man, them burgers are gonna be good. Look at that. Well, we long be ready to toast these buns up, throw some cheese on these burgers. And we're gonna be ready to eat here in just a little while. This ain't nothing fancy about this cook. I mean, hey, as far as the hamburger meat, the only thing I seasoned it with was salt and pepper. If you wanna season it with something else, sometimes we use our barbecue rubs, sometimes we use Worcestershire sauce, just, just whatever we're in the mood for that particular day. We're just kind of been busy here lately. Figure, hey, let's just do a good, quick supper. And of course, you know this is not all we're gonna cook. We can't just feed all the crazy kids with this. Get these fries another quick stir. Oh, they're starting to get a little crunch to them. I can feel it. I can hear it. I look pretty good. I'm impressed so far. Kind of like baked, fried, I don't know what you call griddle, griddle fries. I don't know, I don't know what you call this. Other than it's gonna be good. It's gotta be healthier than deep frying. And the oil I'm using is canola oil, so there's that. But now I'm over here cooking hamburger, talking about being healthy. <laughs> oh yeah. She's cooking up, look at her. Let's give these fries another stir. Just hope you can see that on the camera as well as I can see it. They try to get a little, little uh, color to them now. Looking really good. I hope they're gonna be as good as they look. I'm sure they will. Oh yeah, I think these burgers are about done. Got a good little oh, sear to them. I get it flipped here in a minute. Clear juice running out of them, so that should be about done. We should get some bread on here and toast them up. These fries are about done now. We're gonna try this out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just put some butter down. We're gonna to toast up some of this bread. And while we're doing that, we're gonna take a piece of pepper jack cheese and put on one of these. And a piece of Monterey Jack on the other. You can cover these up with the basting pans. But I think right now it's gonna let the heat do its job. Stir these fries a couple more times. As you can see, get some good color to them. Getting kind of crispy. It won't be long, we're gonna be eating. Be eating good in the neighborhood. about these buns is it won't take long to toast them up. We don't need to let them burn or anything. I like to keep a check on them. Now I didn't time how long it took to cook these fries. I'm just cooking them until I think they're good and crispy. Like I said before, this side over here is on a medium heat. I got this side on low. So, I've been adding some olive oil to this you know, every now and then. Not olive oil, I'm sorry, canola oil. You can use olive oil, I'm sure. Just to kind of crisp the fries up. 
and it's done a great job. It really has. Okay, I'm gonna say these are ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide these over out the way for a second. Same with the buns. Get our handy dandy black stone cutting board out. I love how you can just lay this up on the griddle. We're gonna lay these over. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get a couple of these burgers taken up on here. Look at that. That's gonna be so good. All right, let's dress a couple of them. Now mine, I don't want tomatoes, so I'm just gonna put some onion, a little bit of lettuce, and some mustard, and I'm good. The crazy Nana, and she wants some onion, thick slice of tomato, and she wants some lettuce. Crazy Nana don't like any kind of toppings. So that's gonna do her right there. Squish it down, look at the juice come out of there. Oh yeah, Ooh, it's hot too. So there you go, let's get these fries taken up and we are gonna try this out. All right, it's the moment of truth. We are gonna try this out. Let's try some of these fries first. Don't know how these fries turned out on this Blackstone. Mmm, my these are good. Wow. That is awesome. You gotta try these fries on this Blackstone. That is awesome. Now, let's try out the star of the show here. This big old thick, juicy burger. Mmm. Man. That is delicious. You gotta try this. Quick, easy supper, but man, it is so good. Be sure to try it out. Check out other links in the description down below as far as Just Pit and Barbecue. Make sure you check them out. I get done eating this food in a minute. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments down below what you think, what you want us to try next, where you want us to do, whatever. Hey, we'll see you next time.